box. This is where you would report dog headquarters. This is where you'd see your safety video and then they'd assign you out to one of the dog areas. In behind that building are the older octagons. The building that I mentioned, the steel building, across the way there, that's Terra's Run and that's our training facility. Um, again, this building was donated to us by Tara's parents. She was a little poodle and her people adored her, so when she passed away they had this training facility built in memory of Tara. This is where we set up our agility courses for the dogs that like the mental stimulation and get bored otherwise. But also in here, um, we get dogs here at Best Friends that sometimes they've never been in a house in their entire life. They've been chained up in backyards, um, they've been kenneled in backyards, they've never never been inside. So over here we have things like carpeted floor, wood floor, tile floor, um, small bridges for them to navigate, stairs for them to navigate. Again, just stair-stepping them to adoption and we have to get them over that barrier so that when they get adopted to their forever home, it's not a stress level that all of a sudden, oh my gosh, I have to, they want me to walk on this stuff, this carpeted floor, you know. So it, everything we do is just to get them not only into their forever homes, but that once they get there, they're a lot more relaxed about it. We also have, several times a year, we're offered canine good citizen classes. And that's where we as staff members of Best Friends get to pick out a Best Friends dog and take it through this six to eight week class. Teach it the basics, the come, the sit, the down, the stay. And not all of them graduate with honors, trust me. But at least they have some manners. At least when they go into their forever home, they have the start of manners. It's a whole lot easier to adopt out a dog with manners than one with none. Now coming up here on the left is the newest area of Dogtown. <laughs> this is Val's Puppy Care Center. This was opened up in the spring of 2010. The building on the left here is again the holding or quarantine building. And once they've been checked out, then they go to puppy preschool. And the runs in there are set up so that whole litters can go in together and spend their time in the same run. In between the two buildings we have a puppy play area that's amazing. Now years ago, I'm going to say it's probably been five years now, our return rate on our puppies was about 20 percent and Dogtown people were not very happy with that. So they put their heads together and they came up with the idea that maybe these dogs, these puppies just needed more socialization. And so they started a program where volunteers can go in, volunteer puppies, and what you do is, is you go in there and you pick them up, you put them on their backs, their arms like a baby, rub their stomachs, you um, open their mouths, you lift their lips, so you can look at their teeth, you lift their tails, you touch their paws, and you kind of desensitize them to the handling process so they're more familiar with the handling. And since we started that program, our return on puppies has dropped to less than 2%. So it was a brainstorm on behalf of the Dogtown crew. Two other longtime members, volunteers of Best Friends from California, Homer and Dolores Davis, they decided they were going to donate $500,000 to us if we could match the funds and build some new facilities for the dogs. So it took a little while, but the membership came through. And what you're going to see back here in Dogtown Heights is a million dollar project that's gone to the dogs. <laughs> this is the fitness center. This is what you saw in the video where they have the hydrotherapy tank for dogs that have gone through injuries, shoulder, leg injuries, what have you. 
but they didn't show you. We also use it a lot with our arthritic dogs. It really helps out those arthritic dogs to get into that water and loosen up those joints without the weight of their bodies, etc. Our groomers hang out in this building as well because that's kind of the water, water area, spa area. These next two octagons are what we call old friends. It does not mean that every dog in here is an old friend, but what we refer to an old friend is a dog that's nine years or older. And on an average year, we adopt somewhere between 30 and 50 of these dogs out. A lot of people go, well, that's not very many dogs. And unbeknownst to most people, dogs in most sanctuaries and shelters, once they hit the age of like five or six, they don't want them around anymore. So 30 to 50 is an awesome number, really. These buildings have natural lighting along the rooftops, which the old Dogtown ones do not have. These have radiant floor heat in the concrete so they can come in out of the wet and cold, lay down on the concrete, warm up, dry off. They also have a sound baffling system inside the building, which you never notice when you walk in, but trust me, it's there. <laughs> These are the only two octagons named after people. Obviously, Home and Dolores, all the rest are named after dogs. We keep our dogs in small groups. Dogs are pack animals. They enjoy being with other dogs. You'll notice that each of the octagons also has their own walking trails. They have their own walking trails. There's some off to the left here for some very good reasons. One reason is, is dogs like repetition. Two is, dogs don't like a lot of interference or newcomers on their property. The most important reason is reason number three. Humans do not get lost on trails. <laughs> so next up, these two octagons are called the clubhouse. Is anybody familiar with what we call our victory dogs? Does anybody know about our victory dogs? Somebody shaking their head yes? Yeah, good. I don't have to say his name. Okay, so these <coughs> these two octagons a couple years ago were totally off limits to the public because these were the buildings where the victory dogs were being rehabilitated. And um, since the dogs have been integrated into the other buildings, etc., this one is our small small dog building, which is we never used to have small dogs on the property. So it's kind of nice. Most of these are puppy mill rescue dogs, not necessarily the puppies, but maybe the parents that are the breeding stock. And um, this is the building we're going to go into. Before we go into dogs, I have to give you some more heads up. When we go into dogs, we're going to enter and leave the same way we do in cats. In here, we ask that you stay back from the fencing about a foot, just because we don't want any of these dogs' arms to come through the chain link and maybe scratch up your face. Never put fingers into cages because fingers coming in look a lot like hot dogs or sausage. <laughs> so we're going to get out and go in.